Good morning. Good morning. It's really early. It's stupid o'clock again. It's like five o'clock, uh, quarter past five. We've packed up our stuff, we've got ourselves ready, and we are off to get a bus to Porto Viero. Ooh, the Talamanca. The Talamanca, which is in the south east corner of Costa Rica. So Marianne's just ordering an Uber. You can see her behind me. Um, but she's having trouble getting a signal, so she has to stand by the house. Um, but you, it normally works, so I'm sure she'll manage to figure it out in a second. I feel like a cart horse again, um, but we, uh, we're getting used to it. It's making us a little bit stronger. So, I've got my little app, and we have Jose or Jose Ricardo coming in a Kia Rio. This app is phenomenal. So after a 20 minute Uber drive, we have arrived at the bus station and now we have to try and find the ticket office called Mepe, uh, which is the one that takes us down to the coastline. So we're gonna load up and go and see if we can find the ticket office. Um, so I've got the tickets. It was um, 11 mil, 750 for two tickets um, and then you come and sit on these benches they run at 6 8 and 10 and 12 and then there's a massive great big canopy and I can see above um, it actually says Puerto Viejo so there are different bus um, offices round and you buy your tickets for various locations and then under the canopy you can actually see where your bus is going to pull into because it's very clearly marked it's now um, six. half six um, and the next bus is at eight there was one at six but we didn't think we were going to make it but I did hear or read on the internet that there could be really long queues sometimes um, so I thought if we got here early we would not have any stress or worry about getting the tickets and having time so we have our tickets yay coffee time we found a nice little restaurant to come and have some coffee because we've got about an hour and a half to wait and you know what we're like in the morning without coffee? Okay, we're off. Marianne's just getting the laptop out of the bag because we think they might get chucked in at the bottom. And, I don't think uh, I know. So she's taking it out because it's probably safer. Trying to edit video on the bus is proving a little bouncy, but I'm desperately trying to get this video finished so we can film when we get there. It's actually a really comfortable ride. It is a bit bouncy on this road, um, but the scenery started to go from city uh, to suburbia. We just went through a tunnel and um, every single van, lorry and big truck, these big American trucks, were like pulling their horns. Um, it was obviously all the acoustic noises they were loving and just everybody, drived it, uh, uh, just everybody joined in, including our bus driver. It was just fabulous noise. The journey is about five hours, um, but they seem to be doing lots of maintenance on the road. Uh, that's why there's so much traffic going on. So, although our journey is five hours, I'm not exactly sure what time we're gonna be arriving, because we were here for quite some time, but we bought a little bag of snacks, so we're all right. Five hours 
hours and 37 minutes. Not that we're counting. We actually <laughs> got um, a pee break at Limon. There was one a little bit earlier, but it was such a short stop that Chris had a chance to go, but I didn't. By the in time. a bush. In a bush. <laughs> Um, so we've now arrived, arrived in Puerto Viejo de Talamanca and yep. if I'm correct, it's straight up Should be road. that way, should be walking distance yeah. to where we're staying. So after our five hour bus journey, we've arrived at Better Life Treehouse, indigenous treehouse in fact. Um, dorm style accommodation. There are two levels upstairs, uh, there's a reception area downstairs and it's a vegan slash vegetarian setup. So um, they cook all their food fresh and to order. There's lots of other restaurants and things around if you're not into vegan or vegetarian. But we've got a fabulous be uh, tree house bedroom upstairs. Let me take you upstairs so you can see what we're, where we're staying. On the first floor, uh, there's loads of mattresses on the floor with our lovely mosquito nets. And this is where Chris and I are spending three nights. Amazing. So we're watching um, the cooking of chocolate. How amazing is that? We've just arrived and this is Daniel? Damian. Damian. How lovely. <laughs> and he's going to cook the chocolate. So we've got three kilos of um, cocoa beans and um, they're put in a big terracotta um, bowl that will sit over the fire and then Daniel is going to stir them, mix them and cook them. Um, it, it's just beautiful here. It's a real uh, family feeling and it's something so new to us and already everybody's been so pleasant and so lovely and welcoming. It's very important to move it all the time because if not, it's burning. Emma. Okay, so uh, Damien was just saying that you have to stir them constantly so that they don't burn on the bottom. Oh, muchas gracias. And what's your name? Ines. Ines, lovely to meet you. Um, they've got to be stirred and they're cooked for 45 minutes, moving them all the time so they don't catch on the hot base of the bowl. <laughs> hot work. I've got one to? here, so yeah, let's have a taste. You know why it's a cocoa nut? Because it tastes nutty, but it's a pure hit of chocolate. So we've just met Richie, one of the guys who lives here, and he was explaining to us that the, the way that this um, tree house is actually fashioned is out of a type of wood called chonta. And it's a very uh, flexible but incredibly strong wood. Um, and it's built in exactly the same style as the indigenous tribes that are local to here. Um, and uh, we are very privileged to actually have the opportunity to sleep in this um, beautiful building and uh, check it out. So we are in... Puerto Vieja de Talamanca. Absolutely. And we've left our hostel and we have come down to the beach and just watched the most beautiful sunset. Wow. Absolutely amazing. The sun's actually almost gone down now, but still beautiful views. Yeah, there's a sunken boat behind us. 
uh, leaning on its side, uh, just absolutely glorious. I feel like I'm in Pirates of the Caribbean. This is definitely what the travel is all about. kidnapped the best spot in the house <laughs> definitely the most comfortable yeah although we probably have more padding than most people here <laughs> we've got the nice bouncy chairs at one end and all the kids are hanging out around <coughs> the fire um, and Damien the chocolate maker has made a little makeshift oven type area and he's making pizza bread on it so it's uh, pizza night tonight and they're making pizzas on the fire Mm. and uh, oh, eat as much as you want pizza so we're happy it's looking good I don't think they realize how much I can eat leaving this place the sun's about to break you're riding shotgun the feeling will change 